Hey everyone, I'm Jeff Howell alongside Karen Grigian. It's playoff weather here at Gillette Stadium, and if the Patriots can play outside in this stuff, I guess so can we. Gonna need some ski goggles because the wind is just whipping right in our eyes right here, but we'll get through this. And with the uh, the Patriots in the bye week, let's let's uh, take a step back a little bit and discuss the week that was, as we usually do here on the Blitz blog. And the number one story: the Patriots beat the Bills. They were clearly the better team, and. In a game that was a little warmer than this, but there was still plenty of stuff falling from the sky, and they wrapped up the first round by because of it. Yeah, actually, it was a, a, a torrential downpour at times, and uh, they rode on the back of one LeGarrette Blount uh, to beat the Bills. Uh, he was everything in this particular game. Uh, 189 yards on the ground, uh, 145 yards in kickoff returns. You couldn't do much more than what LeGarrette Blount did. He's been a revelation, to say the least. Blount's performance was really an epitome of that game. It was the Patriots willing themselves to a victory that they absolutely needed for the bye, and it was the Bills who just kind of let them run through them because they had nothing to play for. And sometimes it's good to go into an offseason when you're not as banged up because you don't have to absorb the type of contact of a 250-pound bowling ball running straight at you. Number two, the uh, the other big story, and we'll continue to monitor this as it develops throughout the offseason here, especially this week, Josh McDaniels is interviewing with the Cleveland Browns this week to be potentially become their head coach. They fired Rob Chudzinski on Sunday night, surprisingly, after just one season. McDaniels has the connection. He's an Ohio guy, and Belichick is close friends with GM Mike Lombardi, so we'll see if this materializes. Yeah, I, I, they approached him last year when they had the vacancy, and uh, Josh declined. Uh, you know, he has four kids. Uh, they've bounced around a bit uh, during his coaching life, and he wanted to provide a little more stability. You know, he also wanted to kind of rebuild his reputation a little bit, and he's done that uh, here uh, back in New England uh, with uh, the Patriots offense, with Tom Brady. It'll be interesting to see if he makes that leap. Uh, obviously, you want to be a head coach. I believe he wants to return to being a head coach. Is Cleveland the right situation? Uh, it's hard to tell. He does. There's not a quarterback in place there, although he'll probably be allowed to pick one in the draft. Uh, the, the ownership, you, you know, it's hard. They just can someone after a year. Is that stable? We'll see. It's going to be an interesting decision for Josh McDaniels. Yeah, you hit on the, the big downfall there is the lack of stability. And nobody knows more about the, the power of a good owner and what that can lead to for the rest of the organization, the McDaniels, Belichick, and everybody here in New England with Robert Kraft running the show. So I wouldn't be surprised if that was what the probably at the top of the potential negatives in taking that job. More important storyline, at least this week, that it's more definitive anyway, Logan Mankins has missed two practices with an ankle injury. Devin McCourty has returned after missing a week with his concussion. Patriots might just be resting Mankins. I mean, we know he's as tough as they come. He had a walking boot in his locker on, on Monday. But again, he played through it Sunday, and I don't think there's anybody who would really expect him to miss a playoff game. No, I mean, we saw him play one year uh, with a torn ACL. This guy is as tough as, he, as there is. He will play with broken bones, torn ACLs. He will be out there if there is any human way possible, and they need him. The line needs him. Brady needs him protecting his uh, blind side. So um, I would expect Logan Mankins to be able to play uh, next Saturday. Yeah, absolutely. And in keeping with that theme, there is absolutely no way we are going to sit here and complain about the cold knowing that Logan Mankins played an entire NFL season just about on a torn ACL. We are going to wrap it up from here. You can follow all of our work this week, next week, all the way through the playoffs on bostonherald.com and the Blitz blog.